We had a great conversation recently with yoga instructor Clara Roberts Oss and dug into real questions about her experience launching an online yoga membership, and you don't want to miss what she had to say. As a yoga teacher, we generally don't make money unless we're standing in front of people. It's very hard in our industry to make what we call passive income. And that's why the yoga videos are so amazing because it gives us this opportunity to continue to make money while we're not standing in front of people. The greatest challenge that I've had as a business owner was hiring staff. I have worked by myself for about 15 years running my teacher training and uh, retreat business. And uh, when we launched the site, I also got pregnant literally the, the month that we launched the site. And uh, my pregnancy was a challenging one. So I actually, I'm somebody who usually has a ton of energy and can work, I, I can work all the time. And I just couldn't, I was so, I was just exhausted. And so luckily my business partner was like, you, we need to hire somebody, the roadblock is you. Like we can't, there's so many things that we are waiting on and you are not doing them. And so that was a really hard pill to swallow as somebody who can usually do it all and does it all and takes care of it. And I have a one full-time person who is pretty much what we're now calling her my channel manager. We hired her originally as a copywriter and now I just call her my right-hand woman. So she works full-time with us. It was really hard for her to work for me because I had a really hard time delegating because I was just like, I'd rather just do it myself than teach you how to do it. It like, takes more time. It took a couple of months. I would say it took about six months of launching Practice with Clara when it started to become profitable. And not by a ton, like, but enough in order to make it viable. I, and we, so we charge 20. I wanna make it accessible, but I also wanna honor the fact that I've put, I've put 25 years and a lot of money in terms of my education to offer the content that I have. So I feel like it should be enough for us to make some money. So, so I would say quality content, what is your overhead expenses? How much, how much are you paying people, right? And how much are we all able to live? So yeah, we started off at 12, we started off at $14 and then we've gone up about a dollar or two a year ever since. And we're not even at $20 yet, but again, it's just like overhead, as you know, the bigger you get, the more overhead. So that's where we came up in terms of that pricing. My core value, my core value as a human, as a, as a yoga teacher, and then also as an entrepreneur is uh, community education. Those two things are what feed everything that I do. And so um, I've always wanted to build a global community, whether that is touching, tangible, or in the virtual space. And I think what we've, what we've learned during the pandemic is virtual community can be as potent as in real community, uh, in-person community. The most pivotal moment in terms of a bump in our community was when we started launching 30 day challenges. But it was also a way of building community because if you come every day and I come every day, all of a sudden we're probably gonna start chatting because I'm, I'm now seeing you, you're a regular part of the staple because then we're more, we're more likely to show up because we know other people that we know other people are showing up. I was also a new mom because I became a new mom in April and our lockdown was March. So I was feeling ridiculously isolated and very alone. And I, I selfishly wanted to feel my community. So we, we created this 30 day challenge and it was, I think we had over 500 people join us across the world for that first one. It was phenomenal. And uh, since then we've continued building and then we also like wanted to partner with, with companies that we really believed in to give away prizes and like kind of make it a party to be like, even though we're all stuck in our living rooms, like let's have a yoga party where we dance and breathe and sing and be together and we can like see each other, you know, in the, in the community to hold each other accountable and to be like, I'm not alone. We want to make it accessible to everybody. And so we offer a free month of yoga to anybody who's not already a member. And then how we kind of marketed that is we said, tag a friend. If you know somebody who needs 30 days of yoga, we'd love them to join us for free. And so that was one way of kind of bringing community. The other way was us to have raffle prizes. So come join us and you'll get like a, a beautiful yoga mat or you'll get clothes or you'll get a gift certificate to some fabulous place. Love it, stay with us. And if you don't, cancel. Okay, if you love the platform so, mu so much, write us a review on one of the apps and we'll give you another free month. So then essentially they get two free months 
to try out the program. And we know what we realized along that is, especially if they didn't stick to, if the, if the students weren't able to do yoga for 30 days, they didn't necessarily get to try all of the stuff that we have to offer because we have we have over 240 pieces of content right now on the site. That's a lot of content to go through in 30 days. We're like, let's give you another month and you try it out. Keep going with it and get a feel for it. And we found that it's people have stayed longer because of that, because they were able to kind of taste all the many, the many things that we have. So the other large part is our accountability piece. And so we have that in two ways. One way is that you write yes in the comments um, after you do the class. And so it's really nice to go in there I find even for myself to even just see comments to be like, oh yeah, 20 people have already done it today. Like, let me show up and do my practice or like in our Facebook community, um, we have it on there and we have comments and we want people to come in and we ask them questions and a way to stay engaged so that they stay inspired to continue showing up to their mat. A lot of those people have been with me since the beginning and they get excited and for it because we've been doing this together. And again, we're not like a hundred thousand people. We're a very small community of people, but it, but you can make a living doing that. But I think that there is space for everybody. And I think you can make a living doing many different kinds of things without having a hundred, like I don't, I, I don't even have 20,000 followers anywhere. And I'm okay with that. My philosophy in life and my philosophy in business is one of abundance versus scarcity. And what I mean by that is there is enough room for everyone to share their story however they see fit and there'll always be someone who wants to listen what i would offer to anyone who's thinking about launching their own site would be this go for it if you are excited to share whatever your passion is go get them Continue to do things that spark you and light you up. Because if they light you up, then other people are going to be interested in that. You can learn more about Clara and her practice by using the links in the description below. If you're interested in learning more about how Uscreen can help you launch your online video membership, be sure to click the link on screen right now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.